cake roll in a bowl. So what I have going on is um, I have a pound of ground mild sausage that I am browning and getting ready for the next ingredient. So it looks pretty good. Most of it's all brown, crumbled, and ready to go. All right. It doesn't really matter what kind of the sauces you use. Um, James doesn't really like it as much with ginger, but I do. So I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger and stir that up. James doesn't like ginger. <laughs> she, she uses two of the 14 ounce bags of classic coleslaw. It's just easier to prep, less prep time. This is usually a quick meal that we can make. You can, you can get them at Aldi or you can get them at Kroger. They're only maybe $2 a bag. And there's only three carbs and one and a half cups. There's, so there's gonna be nine, there's gonna be about 27 carbs in the entire container. So in the whole meal. Which that ain't bad if you split that between four people or, and there's usually plenty. Plenty left over for later meals. Um, you can see it really fills, I use a big block because until this cooks down, it's gonna take a lot of room. I thought I was gonna be smart one time and I put it in this deep pan, but that wasn't big enough. So I ended up having to dump it into the wok and then wash the pan. So it just, it's better to start out with a big wok to begin with so you don't have to dump it into something else. Or if you make half the recipe, you really don't need a big, big wok like this. But we're usually feeding about five people. Yeah, if you cut down on the coleslaw, you could have, you could still put the, the pound of sausage in there and you could cut back on the coleslaw and then you're only looking at like 14 carbs or less than 14 carbs for the whole thing so you could definitely just cut back on the col the amount of coleslaw also um or another option would be to chop your own cabbage um then you don't have any carrots and you're not getting any other carbs that come from the carrots the carbs are probably coming from the carrots Sometimes I'll, I'll chop up a head of cabbage and just use that. Um, but like I said, this is easier. Just buying the coleslaw mix. It's being called egg roll in a bowl, it really does taste just like an egg, egg roll without the wrapper. So, you know, you just put it in a bowl and uh, even my oldest boy who's not keto, he loves it. Easy, I mean, when she's making it, she's adding the ginger and she's adding the hot pepper flakes. Um, last time I made it, she wasn't here. I didn't add the ginger or the pepper flakes. All I did was the cabbage, the sausage, and the coleslaw. Now make sure you don't drain the, uh, the sausage. That way you, you know. You get the oils to yeah, you, you get, get the cabbage and carrots to cook down. And it, within five minutes now, it's gonna be completely done. And she should probably be adding in the soy sauce now. Not adding any salt because of the salt from the soy, but um, I just kind of eyeball it until it's all even, even coated. It already smells really good. Um, I like to add chopped onion sometimes too, just because I like onion. Yeah, all, all you need though is sausage, coleslaw, and soy sauce. If that's all you have, you're still gonna love it. You're still looking at a meal, a complete meal for your entire family for right around five bucks. Well, with the price of sausage now, it's probably more like seven. We, this, is, this isn't this is any good sausage either. This is just the Kroger mild sausage. You could obviously use hot, you could use any. Any brands, you can use chicken, any kind of meat you want really. Shrimp would be good. It'd actually be good to add shrimp to that. Yeah, right. Mean. Yeah, 
and it looks like it's all getting pretty soft now so and that's it ready to go Egg roll me. That's enough. Egg roll in a bowl. How is it? Hot. <laughs> Good. Impatient. Delicious. Hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching. So get ready. Set. Keto.